Okay, let's do a quick tour of Amazon Photos. To get to their main web page, you just need to go to uh, Amazon.com forward slash photos. That will take you to the site and get you here. You, of course, you have to log in. You have to have an account. From here, you have options for different formats to display them. You can sort. Sharing. This is a share privately with your friends and family to create groups so that you can, you know, I'm, this is something I'm going to look into further. Just getting started with this, really. Albums. Just created a few albums here for stories is another issue that we're going to work with later. It's just a you can create timelines and slideshows and things. People. <clears throat> I'm not great with photos sometimes, so I sometimes I like this option. You can go down here and click on who is this and give them a name. And then the checkbox. And to see what photo, you click on it and you can see him in photos. How many times he's smiling? Or it recognizes him as smiling. Where there's a tree involved. And the other people that are in the photos. As well as the date and time that it was taken. This is the meta information that's stored in the photo. The back button. So, other thing here is places. So, as I said, my album is fairly small, but this stores the GPS locations of the photos, and this reads the photo, the information, and it can be a security risk. So just be aware, and sometimes it needs to be turned off, but, you know, it's not, it's up to you. You have trash to find and recover photos that you've taken. Your storage. You're given five gigabytes of storage by default. That can be increased for a couple of dollars. But five gig is good enough for me for now. Devices. When you create photo albums, you can make slideshows on your devices, I, such as my Echo Show device. And my mother's, and my Fire TV, so as a screensaver on my TV, it's kind of nice. And from here you can manage it and uh, add photos and your apps. You can have a <clears throat> device on your phone, an app on your phone that will automatically upload all of your photos to the web. <clears throat> I just downloaded the desktop app. And be aware, <clears throat> as soon as it installs, it begins downloading all of your photos, or uploading all of your photos to the cloud. Um, I don't want all my photos to the cloud, so I stopped it. And going back, and I'm going to tell it which, photo, which folders that I do want to upload. So, it's a nice, but just be aware. So, let's go back to photos. This photo still needs to be cropped to fit <clears throat> into the normal devices. Okay, this little cutie, let's, let's go here. What we options we have here, you can share it. You can send a link, put it in a vault, email it, or post it on Facebook. 
Mark it as a favorite. Zoom in, zoom out. This is a slideshow of other photos, information. About the photo. Delete it, but more importantly, <clears throat> over here where we have order prints, you can download the photo to your computer, add it to one of our albums, or what I'm looking at is edit photo. You got focus, where it's just kind of nice, where you could take hit radio and just you know nicely focus the photo you can mirror it change many things here blurring other things. So we'll go back and use the undo button to remove those things. You can add text by just You can adjust highlights, shadows, exposures, clarity, gamma, contrast, saturation, and brightness. Filters. I don't. undo the most important button on the screen right there transform this is the one that this is the screen I use the most so you can either crop it most devices the phones other things they need it in a certain format either square or a 4 3 proportion or a 16 9 proportion if you have a large it depending on the photo and you can do all sorts of different things with it there. But the square is often the best. You just, you know, if you can format your photo a little bit more. So it'll fit in your, and display on the show and other things. You can drag the corners and things. And up here you can swap it left and right. But this looks like a good crop here. So we'll go back. And now we'll save this one as the new photo. Then we go down here and add it to the album that I want to do. Put that in the family. And now that's in there. So we'll go ahead and delete this one just so that we aren't confusing multiple photos in here and this is the new photo so go back and there we are sounds like a good place to end and I hope you enjoy and found it interesting or useful have a good day